Hi parents, thank you for checking out this tutorial. I'm Elaine from Great Solutions, Jimmy Math. In this video, I will be guiding you how to draw before and after models using two examples from past year SA2 papers at primary 4 level. The first question is taken from CHIJ St. Nicholas Girls School and it is worth 4 marks. Peter and Ashraf shared some stickers equally. After Ashraf bought 46 stickers and Peter gave away 112 stickers, they had 478 stickers left. How many stickers did each of them have at first? Now let's split this question into the before and after situations. Before, they had the same number of stickers. So the bar for Peter and the bar for Ashraf should be of equal length. So let's go ahead and have that drawn. Equal length for both of them. Now in the after situation, Ashraf bought 46 stickers. So his bar should become longer by 46. On the other hand, Peter gave away 112 stickers. So his bar should become shorter. So let's split it. And we can actually shade the bar to indicate that this amount is given away. Alright, so 112. They had 478 stickers left. Now I wouldn't recommend writing the 478 over here because it can be quite misleading to the students and they might think that 112 is included in the 478. So in this case, I wouldn't include this in the model, but of course we would keep that in mind. All right, so what can we do to the existing model? We can do some transferring. Okay, so let's transfer this downwards. All right, and this amount here would also be 1. 112. All right, now that makes these two units here equal. So let's write 1u and 1u to indicate that these two units are equal. Looking at the model again and bearing in mind that there are 478 stickers left. All right, since this part here has been removed, 478 consists of these two units here, 112 and 46. So in order to find the value of two equal units, we have to remove these two numbers from 478. But before we go ahead with the working, let's not forget where our question mark should be. How many stickers did each of them have at first? All right, the original grey bar would be the number of stickers at first. So we should indicate the question mark from here to here. All right, so now let's go ahead to find the value of two equal units. Firstly, we add 112 to 46, and that would give us 158. Then we go ahead and subtract this number from 478, and that would give us 320. That would mean two units is 320 and of course one unit would be 320 divided by 2 160 going back to the model we are supposed to find the value of the original bar which is made up of one unit and 112 so let's go ahead to add one unit to 112 and that would give us 260 72. And there we have it, the answer to this question. The next question is taken from Henry Park Primary School and it is also worth 4 marks. Gina and Hazel had the same amount of money. After Gina spent $49 and Hazel spent $5, Hazel had 4 times as much money as Gina. 
Find the total amount of money Gina and Hazel had at first. Now you probably have noticed some similarities between this question and the previous one. And that is, in both the previous scenarios, both parties have the same value, which means we start off with two equal bars again. All right, now let's look at the after situation. Now, both of them spent money. All right, so unlike the previous question where one of the bar becomes longer and the other becomes shorter, in this case, both bars become shorter. Now, what most students would do at this point is to go ahead and cut each bar shorter. However, let's not forget that Hazel had four times as much money as Gina after she spent $5. Alright, so what I would do is to cut Hazel's bar first, indicating the $5 that was spent, and then I would go ahead and cut her remaining bar into four equal parts. Now, since Gina would only have one unit later on, I would transfer this one unit up. And can you see, once this line has been drawn, it naturally cuts off the $59 that Gina spent. So let's indicate that on the model as well. So what I've done here is instead of cutting the bars one after the other, all right, I cut Hazel's bar first, split it up into four equal parts, transfer one part up, and that would naturally give us the size of the $59 that Gina spent. Now let's go ahead and shape the bars to indicate that these amounts have been removed. Going back to the question, the total amount of money both girls had all together at first. So it should be both bars and a question mark. Now what we typically look out for is if we can make any line transfer. So in this case, we can still split this up Whoops, like this. This is $5. Alright, and these are three equal units. So what this means is that $59 consists of three equal units and a $5. So to find the value of 3 units, we simply take 59 minus 5. So let's go ahead and do that. 59 minus $5 gives us $54. So 3 units is $54. And of course, 1 unit would be 54 divided by 3 and that would give us 18. Going back to the question, we're supposed to find the total amount. All right, since both of them have the same amount at first, we can go ahead and find Gina's total first. And that would be 1 unit plus 59. So 1 unit is 18 plus 59 dollars. And that would give us 77 dollars. All right, since both of them have the equal amounts at first, we simply take 77 times 2, $154. And that is our answer to this question. But hold up, we can also use Hazel's amount and then multiply by 2. So there are two ways to solving this question. In order to find Hazel's amount at first, we need to work out 4 units. And that is 18 times 4, giving us $72. We go ahead and add the $5 to 72. And that would give us $77. Same thing, 77 multiplied by 2, since both of them have equal amount of money at first. 
And of course, that would give us the same answer of $154. I hope this tutorial is easy to follow and helpful in showing you how we can draw before and after models. If you have any questions for me or have any suggestions as to what kind of topics you'd like to see in upcoming videos, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment box below and also subscribe to this channel for more free tutorials.